Today in class, we talked about the ambiguous case when using the law of signs. Um, if you missed today, you're probably going to want to take these notes down, and then you're going to definitely want to have a conversation with me or with your group about what happened, because as much as I'm hoping that these notes will help, I think that you're going to need to talk it out with somebody else. So that being said, um, I would go ahead and for the note, purpose of these notes, go ahead and ignore the first triangle and focus on this guy. Now, what was given in this problem when we created it was angle A was 39 degrees. I gave you side AB, which was 6 centimeters, and I told you that I wanted little side A to be 5.5 centimeters. So basically what we have is a side, a side, and an angle, hence the case being side, side, angle. Now, when we drew this, we started by drawing 6 centimeters, then we drew the angle, and then we took a compass and we drew the arc, to figure out where the triangle would be. Now this arc is 5.5 centimeters. Okay? When we did that, you can kind of see the arc faintly in pencil here. It hit this side of the triangle twice. What that means is that in this case, there are two triangles possible. We then drew the same information. We still have a 39 degree angle, just like we did before. We still have the six centimeter side, but this time I gave them little side A as being 2.5. And we did the same thing. However, in this case, when we tried to take our compass and draw our arc, this guy was too short and he never actually hit this opposite side. What this means is that no triangle is possible. We did this problem one more time, and in this case, we have 39 degrees and 6 centimeters again, but I made that side A, the one that's opposite angle A, be 7 centimeters. Okay. In this case, when you draw your arc, over here, it misses, so it doesn't create a second triangle, and it just makes one triangle up here. So we get just a single triangle. Okay. Notice in this problem that depending on how long little side A is, you can get totally different solutions. It's kind of like Goldilocks, where the porridge was either too hot or too cold or just right. If the side is too long, you're just going to get one triangle. If the side is too short, you're going to get no triangles. And if it's just right, you can get two triangles possible. Now, we looked at this because then if you start paying attention to problems in the textbook, the problem in the textbook will give you information like angle is 51 degrees, the side is 3.5, this side is 5. And you use the law of sines to figure out what angle B is. Now, when you do this, you would say the sine of B over 5 equals the sine of 51 over 3.5. You would cross multiply, so you get 3.5 sine B equals 5 sine 51 degrees. Okay. You divide both sides by 3.5 to get sine B by itself. So you have sine B equals, on my calculator, that comes out to 1.11. And now, I can't just divide both sides by b because this is a function. It's not sine times b, it's sine of b. And the opposite of a function is its inverse. So I would take the inverse function of both sides. I inverse the left and I inverse the right. When I do that, an inverse function and a function cancel each other out and just leave you with b. And on this side, when I plug this into my calculator, if I make sure on my calculator that the mode is in degrees, because we're working in degrees right now, and I take the sine inverse of 1.11, my calculator says error. Now the reason it says error is because 1.11 is too big. It's not on the unit circle. And so what this is telling you is that no triangle is possible. You can't get a triangle. And so if we were to actually draw this problem out and actually draw it to scale, it would be like this guy on the other side of the paper where the side was just too short. That 3.5 is just too short and it doesn't make a triangle. So what that will look like when you use the law of signs is you'll get an error out of your calculator and that'll tell you no triangle is possible. We're going to continue with this work tomorrow and look at what it looks like when you get a two triangle and a one triangle case, but this is all we did today. Thanks.